Hello from Hilltop Gardens. Today I thought I would show you what I am doing with my squash and zucchini this year. So come along. <music> So I saw on a video a few months ago about someone growing their squash and zucchini vertically so then they wouldn't touch the ground. So I thought that's a really great idea. Let me try it out. So I built these little trellis systems. So it's just T-post and then some conduit and some PVC and then string. And so the idea is that you just cut the leaves off and then the stem just continues to grow taller and taller and then you just attach it to the string so just for support and then eventually when you get it I guess however tall you want it then you just let it go keep growing and then it will start to produce the fruit and the fruit will hang so I just come out here every couple days and just clip the leaves off. I don't usually clip them all. I usually leave like one or two. And then it looks like that. So as it gets taller you and you cut the leaves off, you're just gonna wanna continue attaching it to the string somehow. I use these little zip ties and I don't tighten it too much because I do want some give in it so the plant doesn't feel smothered. And so you just keep on zip tying it until you get it to the level you want it where you feel like it's gonna be off the ground and then you just let it go. So I have noticed that some of these are starting to produce flowers. Um, as it produces flowers, when I'm cutting them off, the, lip, the leaves, the flowers usually fall off too later. I don't really know why they fall off, but they do. So I've not had any fruit, uh, vegetables produce yet. So I don't really know how long it's gonna take for them to start producing. I imagine that I need to let the leaves grow and then they'll start producing. So the whole reason I wanted to try this system this year is because with mine when I plant them, um, if they're grown on the ground, you know, you get those like spots on them and I wanted to try to prevent that and see if I could grow just those pretty little vegetables, squash and zucchini, just perfectly shaved without any spots on them. Um, still haven't even gotten one yet. This seems like a very long process to get it to be tall and hopefully when it's done growing tall then it'll produce. So these have been in the ground for two to three months already and I still haven't had any vegetables. So. I'll just keep you updated. Um, there's a couple that I'm just said heck with it um, because I want some vegetables. So I have let them start growing just out like normal. I mean the, the stem is pretty tall but I'm not going to try to make it as tall as the other ones like I want it because I want some vegetables because <laughs> what if all of this hard work comes to an end and I get no vegetables but the plant is like super tall and pretty. So this is going to be my one experiment that I do this year and we will see how it goes. So make sure to stay tuned for the end results. Maybe in a month we'll have some vegetables. <laughs> Maybe it will be all worth it. They'll be beautiful. They'll be uh, disease free because they're not laying on the ground. So if you want to see that follow up video, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Hit the little bell to be notified when we post new videos and make sure to share with all your friends if you have any friends that are gardening and would like to do different ways i'll show you a couple of what i'm doing fail or not
no fail. <laughs>